Hi, uh, welcome to this week's vlog. I wanted to bring up an interesting topic that I had recently with a client about her daughter who's 10 years old and she's been experiencing a form of bullying. There's so many different types I, and I just wanted to specifically mention one which is about exclusion as opposed to aggression or you know, some form of uh, abuse, I guess. So she went up to her mum, which is great, at the age of 10 and said that a friend of hers at the dance class was including her at one dance class and then they'd go to another dance class where there was another girl. And she'd take that other girl aside and tell her, oh, come, I need to tell you something and then exclude this girl. So you can imagine that's pretty devastating. She thought she was a good friend and then all of a sudden she's playing these little mind games. So the client asked me, well, what do I do in this situation? And I've, this is what I've said so far is to, you know, have an honest conversation. I said, that's perfect. All you need to do is apply the assertiveness model to it. So what you do in that situation is you can practice the conversation with your child because at any age it's going to be uncomfortable. But can you can imagine at the age of 10, <laughs> how do you do assertiveness if you've never really practiced it? So... There's four areas to focus on. One is how you feel. So I feel left out and hurt when you go and exclude me out of the conversation because it makes me feel like you're not really my friend or that I've done something wrong. I would like to be included and not ignored when we go to the other dance class or be treated the same each time, not up and down. And then the final part, is, which is also important, is what do you think about it or what are your thoughts or feelings? Why do you think it's happening? <clears throat> and in that situation, if you practice that with your child, then they go and have the conversation. She'll come back then or he'll come back and then have another chat with you about it. And then you'll know whether the other child has responded with empathy or is continuing the behaviour. And if they're continuing the behaviour, then you ask your child, do you want someone who is going to treat you hot and cold, someone who doesn't care about your feelings? And if that's the case and the behaviour still continues, then your child can go back and have another assertive conversation and just say, I, I feel disrespected because I shared my wishes and I feel they've been ignored. Uh, I don't wish to continue a friendship with you in the way that it's you know part-time and you give the other person still an opportunity to speak of course and not be aggressive but I think it's really important to have a healthy boundary and to teach your children that from a young age that you know they shouldn't just tolerate any form of bullying that by showing that they're confident and they have a boundary that they need to be treated with respect. So I hope that helps anyone else who's going through something similar. I think it's a fantastic topic. There's so many different types of bullying, like online, aggressive, there's it's all sorts of things. And we ha it happens to adults as well. But um, in children's lives, I think the best thing we can do is teach them resilience. And by having these conversations, it's fantastic if they come to you to talk about it. If they don't, you could possibly find ways to find signs of whether they're not enjoying school, etc., and, and look into it from there. But I hope this helps, and I hope you have a great week. Thanks. Bye.